don't know how long the charge is going to last so we're just going to have to do this quickly don't know what that was would you guys mind if I like did this entire video in my dressing gown I do have clothes on but like I should probably take it off I'm going to take it off <laughs> Hey guys, it's the Green Crayon and this video is going to be me going through the Body Shop Advent Calendar from this year. I mean, it's not going to be like a review as in, if you buy this, you will get these things. I mean, you will, but they do a different one every year. So if you're looking at getting the 2016 Advent Calendar, this is what is in it. Um, if you are looking to get it, maybe um, just because the products are cheaper, this is what you get in it. It's what I think of everything. And, and if you just want to watch someone look at some Body Shop things, here we go, not sure what the purpose of this video is. Um, and also I don't usually look like this to sit in my room and film a video. Um, I am going out later. <laughs> I don't, don't go, I mean I love you guys but I don't go this far out for you guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off with the box. The box is amazing. So I got the green one and this is what you get apparently. We are on macro focus. We're not. I'm in focus right. I, I look like I'm in focus right. I'm like mostly in focus. Um, so this is the box. Um, it comes with a little ribbon and it's got a list of all the things that you get on the back with sort of ingredients and things you want to know. But the inside is the best if you guys haven't seen it yet. <sighs> look at how amazing this is. It's so gorgeous. Each of the end of it, this is what it looks like, like after you've opened them all, if you turn it round, so each of the boxes has got a number on it, like that, but as you open each of them, oh hello, uh, I picked the wrong box, as you open each of them you turn it round um, and then you reveal this picture at the end, which is really cool, um, it does have 25 squares so it's not like a traditional advent calendar where you only get 24, um, but there we go. It does however say, 24 happy days on the front but that's a lie because you get 25 so it's just you know a little surprise bonus but i did open it on the 24th because you get enough things on the 25th so i'm just gonna go through it um the first thing that i got though i did remember that day one is this spiced apple shower gel and i loved it so much i've used it all as you can tell it smells amazing it smells like christmas so strong. Usually I'm allergic to things that are like really heavily perfumed or like bright green like this is but I didn't have any problems with this but I don't know if I would if it was a bigger bottle. It was only a little one. I used it all. My skin was fine and because that was the first thing I'm gonna go through and take you through all like the cleanliness products like the um, things that are used to make you clean. So you get two more um, shower gels. This is the British Rose one, which is the one that I'm currently using, which doesn't smell as strong. Can I open it? There we go. Doesn't, I don't like it as much as I like the Spiced Apple one. Like, it's all right, but I don't know. It's quite like mild, so it might be better for my skin, but it doesn't smell as nice, and it's a kind of a watering color, and meh. But as long as it washes, Hey ho, it has a function. And then this one, I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce that. Hot quick. Autofocus. No, okay. It says Poly Polynesian Island T Tra. <laughs> Please don't comment if you know how to um, pronounce that. Um, it's seems to be, it says soap free shower gel infused with Polynesian tiara extract. Um, I don't know what that is. It's kind of, I'm assuming it's got pollen in it or something because it kind of says pollen and also all the little flower things. It smells really strange. Like it's a very fresh smell but like it's nothing that I've ever smelled before. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out when this one runs out. Um, so we'll see what that's like. Um, you also get a Foofy Thing. Yeah, I'm sure these have a name, but this one's called Foofy Thing. This one is actually kind of wet because it's been in the shower because I was using it, but this is my Foofy Thing. <laughs> and you also get a bar of coconut soap. 
You don't really see bars of soap anymore, so this is quite cool, but don't think I'll use that. I think that might be going to friends slash family because nobody uses bars of soap anymore. And like, they make me cringe when they get, you like scrape it and then it gets under your nails and um, decide should we do should we do makeup or should we do skin? Um, makeup, good choice. <laughs> so things in the makeup category, we got um, chamomile gentle eye makeup remover, which I haven't tried yet because I just use wipes because I'm lazy. Don't hate me, but it smells really nice. Um, I'll probably take off this eye makeup with it tonight because this is quite intense, <laughs> and I don't know if a makeup wipe will cut it. But so. That's quite nice, it's also, you know, everything comes in a little travel size, so that's, that's nice. We also get some eyelash curlers, I haven't even taken these out of the bag yet, because I'm currently using my old ones from Primark, which will be going in the bin after this video. <laughs> also get, still also not out of the packet, a eyebrow slash eyelash brush, does anyone actually like brush their eyelashes with this? Is that like a thing? Anyway, eyebrow brush. Angled eyeshadow brush, which is quite nice. Um, I have thousands of brushes, so this might be going to someone else as well because I don't really need it. But it's nice. It's a nice thing. Pencil sharpener, which is again nice, but will also probably be going to someone else because I have a double-headed one because um, one of my eyeshadow primers um, oh, is like a big one, so I don't know if it would fit. But um, yeah, useful things to have. Might just keep it as a normal pencil sharpener. And you get some black coal eyeliner so infinitely useful we'll definitely be using that we'll definitely get through that we'll always use it and then there was this this is what i have on my lips at the moment and it is honestly my new favorite thing <laughs> it's literally just a it's like a lip crayon pencil you know like a lip color and it's i don't usually go for like neutrally like pinks like this but this is just so lovely it's so soft to put on i feel like like it goes in my skin tone really well and it's lasted pretty much all day. I haven't touched this up at all. I'm looking behind, I don't have a viewfinder on this camera so I keep looking behind me in the mirror to see, um, see if I've still got the lipstick on. That's what I'm doing when I duck, by the way. Um, but I genuinely am a massive fan of this. I don't, it doesn't actually say what the colour is. Lip definer. But that's the colour on the back, if you can see. And I'm definitely going to be going back and getting another one of these when it runs out. Moving on to the skin category. Okay, so this leads on to one of the, um, some of the couple of full size products that you did get. Like most of the products are sort of minis or of course like the soap is full size and things. Um, but the majority of the skin things are full size. Um, the first being pink grapefruit hand cream, which I'll definitely be using. I love a good hand cream. I haven't actually smelled this one yet. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know if it might be a little bit overpowering because <laughs> it is going that's going to be very intense when you put it on but that is very very nice and the other full size there's like a couple of full size products but the other big impressive full size product is this one which is um body shop and um, body butter in strawberry it's my favorite smell of all of their products i love the strawberry smell um which i will definitely be using and I think that's brilliant. That was the um, Christmas Eve one. That was number 24. Um, but after I show you what number 25 was, I'll save it for a minute. But after I show you what number 25 was, I think this should have been 25 and the other one should have been 24, but you'll see. And then you get three body lotion things. This one is vanilla chai. This one is frosted berries. And this one is mango. Um, I think frosted berries and spiced apple are kind of the only Christmassy scents that you get. Most of them are like sort of generic ones that you can use throughout the year. Both of these were got early on in the calendar. I think this might have actually been one and two. Um, so you get the like the Christmassy scents like a month before Christmas, so you've got a chance to use them. Doesn't smell. See, this one doesn't smell as strong as the other one. I think I'm just going to be permanently disappointed by the smells after this one. <laughs> you also get a mini vitamin E moisturizer. This is my favorite thing ever. I love the vitamin E stuff. I have so much of it. It's probably like there will be some here on my desk. Yes, this stuff. This stuff is my favorite thing ever. I use it every night and it is like a miracle worker on my skin. I don't know why. 
no matter what it is or what I use on my skin, this is always the thing that I come back to because it just clears up everything. I don't know why. <laughs> um, everything from like like infections, like a disinfection that I got on my forehead or like dermatitis or like spots, everything. It just works on everything. It's brilliant. So when I got a mini version of the moisturiser, I thought that's perfect. I will definitely be using that. Two lip butters. This one is just sheer and this one is strawberry. Favourite smell, unfortunately I can't use these. My lips are really specific about um, things that I can like put on them and um, lipsticks and things are fine but anything that is a Vaseline or a, like a lipstick my lips will like swell up massively <laughs> they just don't like anything so unfortunately um, I can't use these so I will be giving them away to someone um, and you also got a cleansing sponge see I thought this meant that you would probably get a cleanser as well but we didn't um, but it is nice it's very soft hasn't been opened yet um, I don't really want to open it until I use it and I haven't really had a chance to try it out yet but these are always incredibly useful and I'm sure it's very nice and then now we're going to go to the last category which is miscellaneous everything else and there was a couple of random things that I got first one was a nail varnish colour crush um, I don't know what this is going to be like I've never used a nail varnish from the body shop before um, I will probably use it regardless of what it's like um, see what the brush is like? Decent, this is a decent brush, like it looks like it's going to be okay. Um, the next product is um, slanted tweezers. Um, this is really good because my old tweezers have just got blunt and I really need to do my eyebrows. I haven't yet since I got these because, because I'm not a very put together human, okay? You're just going to have to accept me as that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> Someone who never does their eyebrows. Um, but I do prefer slanted ones because it's easier to get into the gaps and also um, they are sharp so I need a good new sharp pair of tweezers because it's much 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 easier when you have sharp tweezers <laughs> and this is what you got on December 25th which is really nice but I think would work better on the 24th so you got a sleeping mask with like Zeds on it and the body shop which is quite nice. I do use sleeping masks when I go to sleep um, I don't know if I'll be using this one because this is quite harsh And I feel like it's gonna like hurt the back of my head, but I actually haven't used it yet So we shall find out um, and you also got with it in the same one um, Oils of life sleeping cream and um, I haven't tried this yet either, but but it smells so nice. It smells of like lavender and like it doesn't actually it doesn't actually say what it smells like I wish it would it's like lavender and like just like essential oils and things it's just a really relaxing smell and I guess the idea is that you put it on maybe your face before you go to sleep and like the smell like relaxes you it doesn't actually say what you do with it, it just says not to put it on your eyes so I'm, I think I'm just gonna like put it on my chest or something and um, don't really want to put it on my face but I am definitely gonna try that but I think this would be better to give on Christmas Eve because then you get like a nice night's sleep before like Christmas Day. Um, but they did also call it 24 days. Um, it has 24 days written on the calendar or on 25, like I showed you at the start. How much time do we have left? We're, we're fine. Um, so I think that they kind of intended for you to open them both on the 24th, um, but they just put 25 on it to be consistent. But I do think that's really nice. Um, and I will be using that and I hope that I don't like it because <laughs> my sleep schedule has to be so specific in order for me to get to sleep so if I do like that I'm gonna have to just keep eyeing it and so this is just a really nice really nice thing I think um, and I also don't see why it has to be a Christmas thing I've always thought that with advent calendars um, because it's my, it's my birthday in January um, I'm 18 on 16th of January and I am totally a thousand percent open to getting an advent calendar that was in a sale for my birthday. Like always would have been, no one's ever done it, but that just means you get like an exciting like birthday month. I don't understand why they only sell these during Christmas. Like I would, you get so much discounted stuff in it and I would totally buy it just randomly so that I could just have like 24 slash 25 days of presents, exciting mornings. Like, why not? Why does it just have to be December? 
Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any requests or questions, then leave them in the comments. Um, please like this video if you liked it um, and leave a comment. And if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it. I'm not going to hate you. I want to know what people like and what people don't. Or, alternatively, leave me a comment and be like, this was a rubbish video because... I don't know, you didn't speak coherently like I'm doing now. <laughs> Just tell me what it is. Um, and I hope you had a good Christmas. New videos every Wednesday. Mm -hmm.